All right, so here we are, May 2020. It is May, right? We have officially reached May. I don't know. I can't count the number of weeks we've been home at this point. And we can't find yeast. 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 Y'all, we created an everything dough. Literally a dough that uses yeast that only needs five ingredients that can make just about any type of bread product that you can think of and we can't find no stinking yeast. You have literally got to be kidding us. Like, what now? I guess that's it. Time to pack up. What's the point? What is the point? There's no more yeast. None. Can't find it anywhere. Freaking yeast. Keep your toilet paper. You just want my yeast. But seriously, that was my reaction when I realized we weren't going to be able to find yeast easily any longer. And while we had a good amount on hand, I realized that in the comment section, you guys were running out of yeast fast and needed yeast free quickly. So we've already actually showed you two things that you can make yeast free, but today we are going to be showing you probably the most requested, which is some yeast free bread. That's right perfectly fluffy, delicious sandwich bread. This is good for soups, it's good for sandwiches, it's good for dipping in things, literally anything that you would use normal sandwich bread on for, this is going to work for you. We've personally been using it for things like avocado toast, peanut butter and jelly for our kids and Andrew because he's still a kid and likes peanut butter and jelly and just, you know, randomly sneaking off and grabbing a piece here and there because it is that dang good. So let me stop talking and let's get right into showing you how to make this yeast-free vegan bread. Let's go. Y'all are going to be shocked at how easy this is to make. It's super similar to making a quick bread since there's no yeast, you don't have to worry about waiting around for hours while it rises. The first thing we are going to do is create a vegan buttermilk by mixing together any warm plant-based milk and some apple cider vinegar. White vinegar and lemon juice would also work and then let this sit for a few minutes. While waiting for that, to a bowl, add flour, vegan cane sugar, baking powder, and salt. Give that a whisk around. After your buttermilk has sat for a bit, add in some melted coconut oil, make a well in your dry ingredients, and pour that into the well. Then you are going to fold until everything has had a chance to mix well together. You don't want to over mix this, but you also want to make sure that all the flour from the bottom and sides is well mixed together, so fold, fold, fold. As for the flour, you could use bread flour, all purpose, or wheat with no real effect on the recipe. If you are gluten free, we would recommend a measure for measure version. We linked our favorite in the post. It will not get as big and will be more dense, but it is an option. Once you have had everything mixed together, you are going to pour it into a greased baking pan, wiggle it around to get it nice and leveled, and bake it at 375 for approximately 30 minutes. When it's done, let it cool for a bit and then slice it up and use it however you use normal bread. Avocado toast is naturally a great idea, but we're also sharing some of our other favorites in the video and posts like nut butter, bananas, and cinnamon, almond butter, and strawberry jelly with chia seeds vegan cream cheese and strawberries with pistachios, or cream cheese, grapefruit, and agave. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you love this new easy vegan bread recipe without any yeast. Make sure you tag us on Instagram if you make it so we can share your photo. Give this video a like and make sure you have those notifications on to get notified of our next video and post. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.